It's the Packet Froa! Welcome to the channel! Hey there, I haven't made a video in a while, and as it happens, Cisco released the new version of CML, version 2.6. And in there, they've added an interesting new feature called the Patty Tool. And the idea behind this is we can add tags to our running nodes and use that to expose SSH access or VNC or just generally do PAT if we want to do some more complicated uh, connections like a NAPL, like SNMP and that kind of stuff. So I figured, hey, why not set it up here? So to actually use the feature, we need to go into the CML shell and turn on a couple of things. So with that, why don't we just dive in and get this up and running? So to actually enable it, what we need to do is uh, enable the service on the CML shell itself and also just adjust the configuration. So I've already connected on my secure CRT, so let's hop over here. And what we want to do is edit a particular file which is the patty service.env. So the first thing we want to tweak is how often it pulls. Now, if you're doing this in a production system, uh, once a minute is probably fine, but since this is usually a lab, I'm just going to put this down to like five seconds so that when we add a tag there, it's pretty instantaneously figured out. And then all we need to do is uncomment this here and this is going to allow serial or VNC functionality which is how um, most people will probably use the service. When we're done with that we'll just go ahead and save it and then we're going to go ahead and enable the service and we can just go up here and copy the service name and then we're just going to go ahead and start it. So this is my CML. You can see they've changed the layout a little bit there. They kind of centralized everything. So instead of having the no pane here, it's up in the middle and you can drag and drop what you want. And they made a couple other workflow improvements like uh, the console is a little bit nicer. So if I console into this way, this is how we would traditionally connect to things there. And if I wanted the other one, I now have tabs. So uh, all in all, it's a pretty nice update. But to actually use the patty service, what we would do is go to the tags on each node. And then in the tags, we can specify what we want to expose there. So if we wanted to expose the serial, which is what I like to do, we just go to serial and then we give it a port number like 2001. And if we go over here and do the same thing for serial 2002, what's to say? We should now be able to tone it into that. So if I open up a new connection here and we go to Telnet and go to my CML, if I go to port 2001, we are now connected to R01 here. We'll just rename the tab. And if we do 2002, we are now connected to this. And then we can just go ahead and call this R2. So that's how Patty works in a nutshell. Essentially, you tell it what to expose and exposes it. Uh, we changed the polling down to five seconds, so it's pretty quick. But this is dynamic there. So if I actually wanted to take this off, you'll find that within a few seconds, it gets disconnected. If I add it back in, then this will pretty quickly be exposed again. Now you can do PAT if you wanted to expose uh, certain things there. So if you wanted to have like say SNMP be exposed or actual SSH instead of using a serial port, you can do that. So what that would look like is you would do PAT, then you would give it a port and then you would tell what it's being padded to. So this would be like 22. But for that to work, you would have to make sure you add an external connection and get all that set up there. But so I like working with the serial. Anyway, I just figured this was a neat feature and it'd be a good excuse to make a video again. So uh, talk to you soon.